Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Edit With Me. I am so glad you're here. My name is Kelly. I'll be your editor today, and we are going to be taking this adorable window light image of a newborn from raw to ready, and we're also going to be discussing my pre-session pep talk and how I psych myself up for every session that I go to. If that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and grab your coffee or water, kick up your feet, and get ready to edit with me. Okay, so we are going to be um, doing just a quick little edit today to really increase the vibrance on this image. And we're going to be talking about my pre-session pep talk where I share kind of tips and tricks on how to psych yourself up um, for your photography sessions as well. I know not everyone is an extrovert. In fact, the idea of talking to the camera by yourself is probably very intimidating for a lot of you. Never mind going in front of actual living, breathing clients. But we're going to talk about some ways to bust through that for you. So I'm going to explain what I'm going to do today, and then we'll jump into our talk. Um, before I do that, though, as always, I want you to start developing your eye. If you've listened to any of my episodes um, already, you know that that is one of my chief goals here is developing you as an artist and creator and photographer. I do not want to create an army of Kellys. I am not interested in that. But what I do want to do is inspire you to have the confidence to do what you do best. So close your eyes if you need to, to start fresh, take a big, deep cleansing breath. <sighs> Open your eyes and look at this image. If this was on your computer, what would you fix? What would you change? You can yell them at the screen. You can say them in your head. You can tell me in the comments below, whatever feels natural to you. But I want you to be able to tell me right away what you would fix if this was yours. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my, I would do. Um, the crop is wrong. And I did that on purpose because I wanted a longer crop of from her belly to her toes. So the crop is wrong. I'd have to fix that. I really want to big up this window light coming in here. I really want to increase the vibrance and really work with my shadows. So those are my, my goals for this image. Okay. So while I am getting set up, um, I want to welcome you. I am working in Lightroom CC. If you work in Lightroom Classic or in ACR or even in Photoshop, your tools are going to look slightly different and that's okay. We all have our own way of doing things, right? So I am going to start by cropping this right away. Now, there are some options with cropping. I do mine in Lightroom just because it's quick and easy, um, but you don't need to necessarily. You could um, jump into Photoshop if you needed to straighten the image or something like that. Um, but I prefer to do mine in Lightroom. All right, now that's putting the focus on the belly, which I love that gathering in her bloomers and the little strings of her bonnet and then the toes. And I still have a lot of light here to work with. So I'm gonna start today um, with a quote and I want to read it to you. We're gonna be talking about how to psych yourself up. So I love this quote by Ansel Adams, who does amazing black and white landscapes, is one of my absolute favorite photographers. Um, and this quote says, life is your art. An open, aware heart is your camera. A oneness with your world is your film. Your bright eyes and your easy smile is your museum. Now, while he is adapting his passion as photography to the common person. I remind myself of that quote every single time I go into a session because I want to have that mindset with my clients. I want them to see that I have an open and aware heart. I want them to see that I am exhibiting a oneness with them in the moment. And I want them to feel that my eyes, my bright eyes, my easy smile is genuine and wonderful and a way to welcome them 
and make them feel comfortable. So before I um, jump into my pre-session stuff, I'm going to give just a little snippet about Luminous presets here. Um, I do not own these presets. They are from a dear friend, Chloe, but I love them. I love them for indoor work as well as outdoor work. We are going to be using Wonder today. Um, it's got gorgeous purpley tones and I, I am just such a huge fan of them. Now, Again, if you have been editing with me for any amount of time, you know that I do raw edits, I do custom edits, I also do presets. There is no shame in my game when it comes to speeding up my workflow and shouting um, preset creators, my love of preset creators from the rooftops. However, when you're using a preset, you need to be able to have the mastery on how to tweak it to fit you. There is a reason those presets you just bought are not working, and it's because you may not have the confidence yet to adjust them to fit your work, okay? So I want you really to work on that, my friends. It would be ideal if we could all be custom hand editors and be amazing at it, but that's just not the way it is sometimes, and that's okay. All right, so we're going to talk really quickly about the edits I'm going to make here. Um, but this is going to be a Lightroom only edit. We're not going to jump into Photoshop or anything like that. We're going to do just Lightroom edits. Um, I'm going to come down here and make my mass adjustments, which is remove chromatic aberration, push up my sharpening, push up my color noise reduction, and check my noise reduction. Oh, that's good. So the way I'm telling that is I'm looking at the skin on her legs. Okay. And again, if you don't know what something does, an easy way to check in Lightroom is to pull it all the way down, push it all the way up, and you can see the effect that you're getting. Um, color noise reduction is important on these luminous presets. I will tell you that. All right. So I'm going to increase a little bit of the texture here. I'm going to decrease the clarity. And if you've edited with me for a while, you know that I have kind of a formula that is tried and true for myself. Um, as far as what my effects are. Now I'm going to zoom all the way up here and increase that exposure quite a bit. And it's still a bit purple for my taste. So I am going to mess with that down here. I'm going to turn it a slight bit cooler, a little bit more green. But what I want to do is come into my purple tones and I want to change my purple tones here. Um, to a little bit cooler. I don't want them to be quite so warm and pinky. Um, okay, there we go. That's looking good. All right, we are almost done already. I told you it was going to be a quick edit today, but I wanted to share my preseason pep talk with you guys. So while I'm continuing to work just a little bit on the details of this image, um, I want to dive into how I get myself ready for sessions. Um, and besides the obvious, like prepping and, and all of that, obviously, but I do have a little bit of a ritual that I like to go through when I am prepping for my sessions. Um, and it's more getting myself ready to be that conduit of art than it is what I put in my camera bag. Um, so what I do is about two hours before I am set to leave, I will start drinking a bunch of water, um, and make sure I'm really, really hydrated, but also that I have used the bathroom before I leave the house. So that's not an issue. Um, because a lot of locations that I shoot at, I, you know, there are no bathrooms there. We're in the middle of a field or at the beach or something like that. And a lot of times you can get really distracted just by forgetting that really quick thing, right? So I always make sure that I'm hydrated and have used the restroom. But I will pour myself two huge glasses of water and I will sit on the couch or my chair or whatever for five minutes. Breathe. Think about what I want to accomplish at this session. Think about the last time I shot for the family and what that looked like. I will um, also think about things I want to um, really pull out of their story. Um, and I will kind of read that Ansel Adams quote to myself, right? And I will say, you know, it is so important, Kelly, that you go into this with a perfect, like a perfect mindset. This session is about your clients, honey. This is, um, sorry, I'm just increasing this yellow because I really want that mustardy color to really pop. So I'm going to actually make it slightly more yellowy. There we go. Oh, that's looking awesome. Okay. So I will say, you know, this is about them and their story. 
I think about having that mindset before I go into my session. And I will kind of psych myself up almost. Then when I get into my car, I do a mental check before I even pull out of my driveway. And the reason I do that is I have had a few times where I have left my battery on the charger or I've forgotten to put my camera or my memory card case in my bag or something like that. And this way, I'm only one minute late instead of 30 because I had to turn around, right? So I will sit in my driveway before I even put my car in reverse and I will ask myself the following questions. Do you have everything necessary to do this session? Camera, camera cards, battery, lenses, lens wipe. If the answer is yes, then I move on to the second question. If the answer is no, then I jump inside and grab what I need. The second thing is, do you have what you need to take care of yourself at this session? Water, sunscreen, bug spray, whatever, good shoes. And if my answer is no, I will fix it. If it is yes, then I move on to the third question. And the third question I ask myself is, are you mentally prepared and ready to drive and go meet your clients? And I do this every single time. And it sounds silly. It sounds like a waste of time. But friends, it really does help you prepare to go and be on to um, really put the emphasis on your clients and not so much on yourself once you get there. Um, And so if the answer to all those is I get in my car, I drive safely, and I go to my session. I have a playlist that I have saved on Amazon Music as well that really psychs me up. I have three. I have one that if I'm lacking energy, I'll play it for myself. I have another one that if I really want to get in the mindset of slowing down, like for a newborn session or something like that, it's got really tender, slow music. So that'll kind of put me in that mind frame. And I have a third that's just karaoke, singing out loud, having fun so that I can really um, do some self-care on the way to my session. So those are my kind of um, routines on the way there. I always show up at least 15 minutes before my clients. So my early clients, they send me into a, a spin of panic because I don't, I don't like being to the session after my clients. That is a huge thing for me. I want to be able to be there, to be prepared mentally, to find parking, to make sure that everything's okay before my clients arrive. Um, so once I do get to my session location, I have a few minutes. Um, I have my own work my own workflow saved in my phone in my notes section, which that's one of my biggest tips to encourage you. And I stopped editing because I'm done. Sorry. (laughs) I know I'm just chatting and nothing's happening, Um, but I'm actually finished editing. So actually, you know what? I am going to push a little bit more of those delicious shadows in there. And I might increase the saturate or the vibrance a little tiny bit more. Yeah. All right. I'm going to show you the before and after. So there's the before and there's the after. And you know what? I want to encourage you to do that. I'm noticing a bit of green in this blanket and I'm not loving that. So I am going to use my color adjuster and come over to my white here. And you see there is green. Yuck. I do not want that. So I'm going to click my saturation and I am going to pull that green out of there. See how easy that worked? It's like magic. Um, Okay. So now I'm going to double check it again before, after. Oh my gosh, so much better, right? So much better. Okay, last thing. I have my own workflow in my notes in my phone, and I'm going to encourage you guys to do that same thing. Save the photos that you love, that have made you smile, that you've had really good um, response from your clients to in your phone so you can remind yourself of your workflow before you go. I have been shooting for eight years, my darling friends, and I still do this. I don't save inspiration photos. I save my own work. So that I can keep consistent, so that I can keep in my mind, oh my gosh, my last client loved that photo. I'm going to shoot it again for these clients. So I would encourage you to do that. Um, And then I text my clients and I say, hey, no rush at all to you, but I've arrived on your way here. I want you to talk with your family, enjoy the time together, really take a second to breathe and not feel stress because I am ready for this and I want you to be too. And I find that little tiny boost to my client before they get there um, helps them really relax. It helps them feel confident and it helps them ease their mind that I'm already there. Um, And so I do that. I try to do that about seven minutes before they arrive um, so that they understand like, hey, I'm already here. Don't don't rush. Don't 
feel like you're not you're going to miss me or something like that but it also puts the focus on them and not me um and not them having to 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 rush to to see me right so that's kind of my pre-session pep talk every single time i find that i'm ready then um to to go at my life every single session perfectly and i'm in the creative mindset to be able to meet the needs of my clients all right i told you oh i want to add a little bit more purple to get exactly right to the finished one I told you that this was going to be a really short, quick edit, and I meant it, my friends. Um, There we go. I'm just going to increase the purple a tiny bit. All right. I have enjoyed this time with you. I know it was quick, but hopefully it was a nice little boost um, to show you that editing doesn't always need to be hours and hours and hours, right? And also, it's so important to take care of yourself as a creator. Don't let rushing out the door and forgetting things get you down before your sessions be mindful take a few minutes and really take care of you so that you can take care of your clients as always my darling friend never forget that you are loved you are worthy you are valuable and the world needs your lens if you've enjoyed this go ahead and pop on and watch another one or share it with your friends I am so grateful that each and every one of you took the time out of your day to edit with me. Until next time.